The Rookie Journey presented by AAA. Every athlete has a journey. Focus on the game. Let us worry about getting you there. Auto repair, roadside assistance, and auto insurance. Start your journey at AAA.com. You know, I'm from the state of Texas, so, you know, football pretty big there. And I started playing as, as soon as I was old enough to play flag, so I've been playing since uh, knee high. Uh, started off with flag, then went to Pee Wee, and I just continued to keep playing, and my love for the game continued to grow as I got older. After my my junior year, when I started getting recognized, it was uh, honorable mention as far as being one of the best receivers in the state. And, you know, I started getting some 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 letters coming in and then also getting invited to camps. And that's when it really became eye-opening that I could. And then just I mean, comparing my stats to other guys around and, you know, my name starting to pop up more and more. So that's when it became, you know, kind of reality that I could go to the next level. I have to say, I legitimately thought that um, my first game actually started at corner. It was against Oklahoma. And it was actually on a, um, a post route uh, by Kenny Stills. I was man to man, and the ball kind of went right down my fingertips into his hand back at the end zone. And even though I got scored on, that's when it kind of clicked that, man, if, you know, if I really buy into this corner and, you know, making this transition, that I can actually, you know, maybe have a chance to go in the next level, which I've always dreamed of. So that moment right there is when the switch kind of uh, flipped for me. And, after sophomore year, I, I grind real hard going into junior year, and it, it paid off junior year, and I just continued to improve and you know, work, on, work on my technique and stuff going into my senior year. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, that's what I dreamed for my whole life. I always waited for that moment. I always felt that moment would come. So, you know, when it finally came, you know, it was, I was lost to words, you know, just seeing the look at my parents' face and my family and friends, you know, I, I said I wasn't going to cry and hold it in, but, you know, my, my mom let those little tears out. You know, I, I kind of felt a little roll down my cheek, but it was definitely a moment I'll never forget. And, you know, I, I can wish I can go back and relive that moment any day, but I'm going to continue to do what I got to do. I love the organization as a whole. You know, they, they treat you like family right in. You know, they don't do none of that, that hazing. They don't, they don't treat me like I'm a rookie, you know. Uh, they, they respect me, and you know when I got something to say, they listen. And, and if I got an opinion, they, they listen as well. And, you know they they really encourage it um, out there on the field and off the field. Whenever I need help, if you know if I get one of the guys a call, if they're available, then you know they'll meet up here with me and, and work with me on things. And then um, I mean the coaching staff, everybody is just they got that they want that winning mentality. They, they're working on. Uh, winning and getting to that next level as far as bringing a championship back to Philly. And, and that's what it feels like, and I feel like that's what it's all about, is everybody buying in. And it definitely feels like that's what people are doing around here.